Do you have a, an introduction you would like to set us off with, Roki? Food! Of course you have food. What kind of food do you have to tempt the audience? Instant ramen. Instant ramen? Yep. Okay. I mean, I got this off screen. So, I'm all powered up. But hey, it's me, Miracard Neko. Me, Roki Magshin. And after I just save because I'm paranoid like that. Um, there's a, only a few more things we have to do. I'm just, I didn't think we had this less to do. So I don't know if this recording bulk will be the finale bulk or not, but we'll see. So I'm back here. No, we are not going to fight Sephiroth quite yet. But, um, I'm here to get Donald and Goofy's last weapons. So to do that, I have to do Hades Cup. And to do Donald's, I have to enter alone with just Sora. This should go well. I'm like at level... Oh, well, if it saves the seeds, maybe I'll be fine. God, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I mean, I'm at 75. You think I'd be fine. Well, 76. Yeah, if these things are dying to one hit, I should be fine. <laughs> I got the ultimate weapon. What am I worried about? I mean, it is a nice looking key blade. Yeah. It actually looks like it has a blade at it at its tip and not just like a key part. Like you know how like the key like keys are like flat. Like yeah. they, they've been flat at the top. This one has like a pointed edge if you look carefully, like a sword. Roughly, yeah. I don't know if I like this one more than Oathkeeper, though. Though this is pretty high on the list of Keyblades that I really like. I don't like the KH1 uh, ultimate weapon that much. The which one? The KH1 ultimate weapon. I love the KH2 one, though. I've never gotten the KH2 one, which is probably... Oh, I love the look of it. It is so good looking. This one in the original game, I did get... I did get a lot, but it was a lot easier to synthesize on the PlayStation 2 version. Mm. They make you work for it in this in this version. Oh, that was it. Maybe I can solo this in before tragedy strikes. <laughs> because we all know with my track record. Well, the early floors, the early floors aren't that bad. I was trying to see how many. I Oh yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be the most higher floors when I'm fighting things by myself. Oh hey Yuffie. Yeah, early on, like, it's not that bad. As you get farther and farther, it's gonna get harder and harder. Yeah. Well thankfully Aeroga kind of stops Yuffie's uh shurikens. So this will be relatively easy. I'm sorry, Yuffie. I know I'm kind of insulting you, but still. There we go. Nothing to it. She almost looked like she was falling back in slow mo. No. Okay, so random. Okay, this isn't a spoiler because I don't even know what the what the thing looks like yet. But apparently, like, I don't know if it was Game Freak or if it was um. The Pokemon Company itself, but they threw these images up of like these um like random painted spots on trees. Like to and apparently it's a reference to a new Pokemon. But they didn't show what the Pokemon looks like or anything about the Pokemon. Am I okay to be talking about this since it's speculation? Um I mean I don't mind that, because like yeah. It spots on a tree. Yeah. It, it was like... As long as you aren't talking about, like, the new Pokemon that are in the game. Yeah, no, well, this is just... Well, they said that it's a new Pokemon, but they didn't show us what it looked like, what it is, or anything. So I'll, all I'm doing is just throwing speculation out on what it could be. Yeah. Is that okay? 
I mean, I'm sure it's probably have to do with like some sort of thing. Maybe a legendary or something. Here's the thing. I'm not sure if it's a legendary. Like, I'm thinking that it's probably like it's in a reference to like graffiti art. But I don't. But if it was, then why would they do that for for a region that's based on the region that it's in? Instead of like doing it for Unova or something. Um, but I also think, like, this is also a theory. I don't know if it's correct. It's probably Gen not. Can remakes confirmed? No. But I think, what if it's an evolution of Smeargle? That they're hinting at. Oh, like a regional variant of it, <clears throat> or or an evol or a new evolution for it, like we got for a uh, Obstagoon last generation. Well, it was still part of a regional variant. Yeah, that's like, true. They had not been making any new evolutions except for regional variants. Oh, yeah, that's that's actually true. Now that I think about it, so that, that that's my theory on it. Yeah, and that that didn't ruin anything for you, did it? No. Okay. I'm, I mean, I'm sure by the time this episode airs, there will probably be, like, confirmation on it. Mm hmm But I won't talk about the confirmation in a Kingdom Hearts video, because I don't want to spoil it for Roki if it gets, com gets confirmation. No, that's a Twitter score. that I don't want that. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't use my Twitter. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, um, I do have a Twitter account that I probably should be posting on more than I do more than I do which I, which I do announce there when I go to, when I'm about to live stream and such so for anyone that actually wants to keep up with when I live stream Twitter is usually the best place for it there you go I beat him I'm like I'm about to put myself to shame like how many episodes how many episodes to go of shame to myself for this? <laughs> well, oh. you're a much higher level. Yeah, and I have, and I have probably Sora's most powerful keyblade. I think I'll bring even more shame to myself if I don't uh, perform well. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am running out of magic though, and that's kind of a. Uh, I gotta watch that more carefully. Any good games on Steam right now, Roki? Roki? Did I lose him? My brother was talking to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Everything, You're fine. Everything okay? Yeah. Okay. Just after recording, I have to clean something. Oh, okay. Nothing major. Okay. I have to pick pumpkins after. But uh, as for a cool game on Steam, I have no idea. I've been playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and the new pack of FF14. Wait. Oh, Final Fantasy XIV. I thought you were saying 15. I'm like, wait, 15 no. got more after the, at this many years? No. No, 14. I feel bad. I should go back. Like, it's probably too late for me to actually try to try Final Fantasy. Um, I just wasn't expecting it. It's never too late to play Final Fantasy XIV. Oh no, I have an account and stuff already, but I don't think I raised my character well. Because I didn't understand what I was doing. And I'm still mad that the archer can't shoot people from very far away. Like, I can't go up on a ledge and shoot people. <laughs> That's still gonna make me mad. They have to have a certain range. Yeah, but like, the range that they have should be better than what they have. Like, I should be able... I did this one Battle Royale thing where... You're teamed up together and you protect a fort. I should be able to climb up that fort and be able to shoot people from whatever range I please. Well, there's also the thing of 
drop off. What does that mean? If you fire too far, the arrow will drop off, losing a ton of speed and power. Okay, yeah, no, I get what you're saying. But still, like, I feel like the range in that game was unfair for archers. Like, it should have been a little bit better. They're still fun. <laughs> you're like, Neko's just complaining. Uh-huh. Neko thought she was gonna be sniping people, but she ended up not being able to snipe people. That's why she's upset. Like, I really thought, like, I was gonna be able to, like, go in a safe location and just snipe people with an arrow. Well, I mean, you can still kind of do that if your tank is doing their job. Although, I guess if I want to play Sniper, I should be using- I should be playing a game with, uh, that uses guns instead of archery. Final Fantasy has guns. They do? Yeah, they have two classes that use guns. What classes are those? Gunbreaker and Machinist. Alright, do they have better better uh, attack range than the Archer does? Gunbreaker's a tank. Oh. Well, and the Machinist is basically the same. Oh, okay. Still, though, with, at least with, like, well, I mean, I know it depends on the type of gun. But with, as an archer, you should be able to shoot people from far away. And not be so close into the line of fire. It really depends on the type of bow that you're using, because if you're using, like, a shorter bow, your range drop-off is a lot uh, sooner. And if you're using, like, a really bigger bow, then you lose out on a lot of mobility to gain that range. Yeah. I have no idea what I have. It's been years since I touched my account. <laughs> so I have I have no idea what kind of- but I'm just I'm just talking about in general, like oh. the physics behind archery. Because I really like archery. <laughs> Did I tell you that my high school I feel like I've told this story before my high school offered archery and I'm like mad that I never yes. took it. Yes, you did tell tell that story. I feel like, I mean, my brother knows how to shoot a, shoot a bow for hunting. And my dad knew how to. I wonder if they teach me how to shoot a bow at one point, but I feel like the bows that they have would probably be too big for me. You probably want something more of like a compact one. Yeah. Yeah. But my uh, bows are a lot of fun, but yeah, they got physics to them with the drop off. Yeah. We all we all aren't gonna be Katniss Everdeen's over here, or Hawkeyes, or uh, who else is an arch famous archer? I don't know. <clears throat> I guess you could say Robin Hood, but he's kind of like a Link. Yeah, he is more of a. Uh, he's not a full blown archer. And sad part is, it's like the only Robin Hood movie I've watched is uh, the Disney version, the Disney animated version. So don't don't murder me for not really understanding the full story of Robin Hood. <laughs> I mean, the Disney version isn't too bad. The only like Robin Hood that I remember ever seeing, but like I don't remember that much of, was the uh, Men in Tights one. Okay. <clears throat> The Men in Tights. What's that? It's like a parody. Oh. It's like a, a joke version of it. Oh, okay. Have you never heard of Robin Hood Men in Tights? No. Oh my god. I'm uncultured, it, I guess. It's like just a comedy oh. version of it. It's so hilarious. So like a Spaceballs? Have you also never- wait, that means that you've never heard the song either. No. Oh my god. You gotta fix this one day. <laughs> I'm sure there's a whole lot of things people want to fix. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. 
Don't tell me I used that too late. Spookies. I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't gone up the level yet. I cannot believe that you have not seen Robin Hood Men in Tights. <laughs> if you're wondering, it came out in 1993. I've never seen it. Was it like an adult parody movie? Or is it like... PG-13. Oh. My parents probably wouldn't have let me watch it anyway, even if it was on TV or something. Remember those days when you had to watch things on TV instead of streaming them? Yeah. Man, we're old. You kids today are spoiled. Alright, well, I'm gonna send you the song. Okay. And you can watch it later. <laughs> Well, I mean, if it didn't get, if it doesn't have a chance of copyright, I could have actually. Put it oh, it probably does. <laughs> okay. That's the power of the keyblade. I would not know if it has like a chance of copyright, but my God, is it just a very good song? Does it slap? <laughs> it's just funny. I yeah, one day we'll have to fix this. One day we'll have to watch Robin Hood Men in Tights. <laughs> There's a lot of things people want me to watch. I don't remember uh, every single thing, but there's, there's a lot of things I need to fix. Oh, and after we're done with recording, um, I have a little... Well, it was my dad's garden, but... um. It kind of became uh, just a just a thing to pull weeds out of for a while, but then we found out that there was pumpkins growing in it. Oh, we got not like the, we got mostly like those small gourd pumpkins, but we got one lone survivor uh, orange pumpkin growing right now. The rest of it, the rest of them tried to grow variantly, valiantly, but failed to. Even blood, aside from this one lone pumpkin in our backyard. So we want to make sure that we pick it before the animals get to it once it's ripe. Take that. I almost want to grow strawberries. But I was told that by the time it's too late to start trying to plant them this year. They grow in the um, spring and summer. I think. I'm not a plant expert. How about you, Rookie? What? <clears throat> Are you a plant expert? Nope. I was finishing eating. <clears throat> But I also need to eat something after this, too. Alright. That was some good food. And you didn't think to share? No, it's mine. <laughs> no regret and no no remorse at all. Just know it's mine. Nope. <clears throat> mine. Oh, we're on this side <coughs> already. Oh, he, okay. I don't know if I should be as worried about Super Saiyan right now. But I'm still gonna no. avoid it, just in case. Yeah, no. Nah. We're fine. I 
I'm literally just spamming the attack button right now just because I like don't have to worry about dying at all. Okay, Cloud's gone. I think I went up a level while doing this. I don't know, I'm not paying attention. You're supposed to be the co the co-host. You're not paying attention. No, I was eating. <laughs> oh my gosh! I was hungry. <laughs> he was having his required lunch break. Well, technically, it was my breakfast because I just woke up oh, okay. not long before I ate. Yeah, I'm a bit. I'm a bit the same way. Yeah, I woke up at like 2 and I'm just like, alright, <laughs> I guess I'll get out of bed. <laughs> like, if I must, I guess I'll get out of bed. I forget if, uh... Well... I made it this far in 20 minutes. Wow. <laughs> when I first did this, it took three episodes. Higher levels. Yeah. Better Keyblade. Yep. Well, mostly just the higher levels. Yeah, I think I went up a level during that fight too. Also, if I did, sure, you probably wouldn't have liked it anyway because I put hot sauce in my almond. Oh, right, yeah. I like the spice. You and my nephew. I like it to spice. You like it to spice, <laughs> eh? I like it to spice, eh? Nothing wrong with a little bit of spice. Unless you mean you put in a lot of spice. Oh my gosh, no. Damn it, I have another uh, craving to go to Buffalo Wild Wings because we keep talking about spice. <laughs> and it's because of these these not I Well, I I couldn't go I couldn't uh, ghost hot sauce. Wait, made from ghost pepper? Yeah. Are you insane? No. Nah. You can handle things that spicy? Yeah. Oh my goodness. We need to put you on a hot wing challenge or something. No, nah, turning that is like way too much. <laughs> Have you seen? There's, I know there's a show called Hot Ones where they interview yeah. like. Have you ever tried any of their sauces? Uh, I want to try their Los Calientes. How hot is that one? Uh, it's a little bit lower than Ghost, if I recall. It's like. It, it's lower than Ghost, I know that much. I just don't know by how much. I see these people try to eat the, like, the really hot peppers as they are, like the big pieces with the seeds and stuff. You're all insane. Oh yeah, the, uh, I forget what uh, YouTube series it is, where, like, Hot Pepper Review, I think? It's like Hot Pepper something. Y'all, y'all are insane. Oh, did I get that right? Hot pepper... Did you? Is it gaming? Even mild spice... Hot pepper is... gaming, that's what it is. Even mild spice can be too hot for me sometimes. Yeah, that's right. It's hot pepper gaming. Where they eat a habanero pepper and then review a game. Oh my god. Got it. Kidding me. Oh, Marisha Ray even did one. Okay. Who? Marisha Ray, uh, the wife of Matthew Mercer. Oh. Oh, Marisha Ray's done a few, actually. <laughs> I didn't know Matthew Mercer was married. Yeah. I mean, I should stop being surprised by that. There, a lot of a lot of the uh, anime voice actors are in very good relationships. Yeah. Look at yeah. There's. Uh, Laura Bailey and Travis Willingham. Oh yeah, no, I knew about that one, like... Yeah. When I started watching anime. Yeah, there's Matthew Mercer and Marisha Ray. Um... 
I know Eric Vale has a has a wife and kids. So does uh, Liam O'Brien and Sam Regal. I'm just listening off Critical Role members at this point. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. I, I can't think of who else. I like Critical Role. <laughs> and um, I know Ben Diskin. I think is married. Um, is Hot Pepper Gaming still do videos? No, their last video was five years ago. Oh, come on. Don't do that to me. I need to use this uh, elixir before I go to... Oh, they even got Ashley Burns to do that. <laughs> and Markiplier? Wow. No, I believe I would believe Markiplier would do it. I saw Gerard the Completionist as well. Oh yeah, I believe he'd do it too. <clears throat> Eagle Raptor's done three? Huh. We did Metal Gear Solid 5, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, and what was the other thing I saw? <laughs> scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I just want to saw one more. Oh, it said featuring yeah, okay. Ego Raptor. Oh, he did two Metal Gears up, Solid 5s, Ground Zero and Phantom Pain. Hey, you fun yet? No, I'm not asking for this. I'm just going down like the old YouTube rabbit hole of Forgotten Gems. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. I didn't. I might have, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, I get it, I think. Ah. What other, like, really old things was there. There was always like the YouTube group stuff, or some people probably still do that, I don't know. I just was never really interested in it because I found them not that good. I don't really understand what they are, so I'm not the best person to ask about it. I still remember all the uh, Smash Brother machinimas. Those were always a joy to watch. I love the Smash Brother machine and was. And I think, like, there's still, like, a few people that do them, but, like, the main one is, uh, Guerra, or however his username is pronounced. He does Smash the thing. What is that? It's a Super Smash Brothers machine. What is Basically he? just, like, a, a series. But they use, but he uses, uh, the in-game stuff for Smash Brothers. Oh, okay. Alright, well... It's really cool! That's the power of the Keyblade. I'm sorry, I just finished beating up Hades, so I'm like, well... I think the most challenging part of this is done. I say, with only like three bars of magic left. No, you know what? Let's look. Let's open up Steam. See if there are any like cool sales going on or anything. That's the power of the Keyblade. Yeah, this episode might be the uh, get Donald and Goofy slash shields episode. Last weapons, you mean? Because Donald does not use shields. 
I said Donald and Goofy. Yeah, but you said last shields. I said last stabs and shields. I, I, I just heard last shields. I don't even know. I don't even know what I said. <laughs> I said something, and it was probably something stupid. Nothing to it. Knowing my luck. Come on, scheme. Open. Why you gotta be like this? Oh, I gotta open you, and then close you, and then end the task in the task manager, and then reopen you again. That's thing that you wanna open. Roki's saying you're being a pain in the butt. Because you're not working for him properly. I mean, it ends up working eventually. Eventually. It's just I have to jump through a couple hoops to make it work. But should you be jumping through those hoops to make it work? Eh, I mean... Some of launchers aren't the best. Nothing to it. I am low on magic. I wish you guys actually gave me magic balls during my time. I know you don't. So I'm just gonna take advantage of striking you guys so that way I can get some. That's the power of the keyblade! Imagine if actually someone tried to do that and then they realize, oh you don't give me anything? Lame. <laughs> Start talking about the games that are on sale that I see right now, but then I realized, oh wait a second, those games won't be on sale by the time this video comes out. <laughs> Any games that will be on sale by the time this game? <laughs> this game. Wow. This game. This episode comes out. I, I don't know. I can't see the future, Neko. Yeah, I was about to say, like, this $40, this $40 game right now is 8 bucks. $40? Oh, oh, wow, that's a big deal. Someone should be yeah. taking advantage of that. <laughs> that's a really good deal right there. But I don't know, like, how much I really care about this game. Because I'm not the biggest fan of third-person shooters. Not like Halo, is it? Nothing to it. Halo's a first person shooter. No. No, I know, but the way you said it. I don't know. Don't mind me. Oh, hey, I got my strength up. That's gonna help later. It's like I'm not a fan of third person shooters. Well, what about Halo? That's not a third person shooter. Oh, you said third person. I yes, first. I didn't say first. I misheard it. What do you want from me? I'm not perfect! Petition to get Neko a working pair of ears. I'm sure people would say a better brain while they were at it, too. See, what's some new and trending games? <laughs> oh, there's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Cowabunga. What? The Cowabunga Collection. What's in the Cowabunga Collection? Probably a bunch of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. Heroes and a Half Shell, Turtle Power. Turtle Power. 
Like I know of teenage, game. I know of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Holy Rise, shit, that's a lot of games. But I never actually watched it. Oh, uh, let's see this. This collection has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen games. You hear that, Caramel? He said thirteen. For forty bucks. For forty dollars. We got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, Arcade, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the Nintendo Entertainment System, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game for the Nintendo Entertainment System, <laughs> and there's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, the Manhattan Project for the NES, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters, I didn't know that those were Tournament Fighters. Neither did I. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles, tor Tournament Fighters for the uh, SNES. That's a lot of turtles, man. <clears throat> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the, Hyper the Hyperstone Heist for the Sega Genesis. And there's the Tournament Fighters for the Sega Genesis. <laughs> Alright, I finally made it all the way up here. Fall of the Foot, Fall of the Foot Plan for the Game Boy. Back in the Sewers for the Game Boy. And... Radical Rescue for the Game Boy. <laughs> Radical, bro. Gnarly, man. That, that franchise is Oh, wait. Uh, oh, wait, no, okay. And then there are ones that can be played on mall. Alright, guys, it would be nice if... gonna see if there's somehow I oh well I guess staying up there's not an option. At least this isn't like the ice titan where I actively have to sit there and block it. Something that took me three episodes to do, I have soloed in less than an episode. <laughs> Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Yep, Donald Staff saved the queen. Oh, hell no, we don't want to start over. Why, you didn't die. Do that all over again? Ah, oh, save the queen is a little weaker than Fantasia. Yeah, it looks cooler. Donald can have it. Next up is Save the King. Which, do I even have time this episode to do that? Well, it's a time trial one, so if I just stock us with the right items, I think we'll be fine. Do you think we can do... Save the king within this episode? I don't know. I think we can make it. If not, I can end, I can cut off at a halfway point. Yep, you've all got items. We'll go for it. Oh, I'm at 78. Okay, I'm a little more powerful. I'm almost to the point where I can re rematch what's his name. <laughs> Big magnetic man. Yeah, exactly. Is that a time limit? I don't even know what the time limit is. I'm gonna have to be quick about it. You have five seconds. Twenty- is that twenty minutes? To do it? Yep. Oh, okay. It's doable. I have twenty minutes until the episode's over anyway. <laughs> so it's doable. You have twenty minutes until you die. It wouldn't be a death. But 
until you die. See if we can, guys. It would be nice if you could not miss your attacks, though. I'm trying to conserve my magic here. I really wonder if. You can do this. Well, the power of Donald and Goofy. Who knows? I guess it'll just... I'll just... We'll get an idea. But the trophy did pop up for Donald's, meaning that I did obtain all of his staffs. Wahoo! Um, so the trophy for Goofy's too should pop up when we're done with this. And for Sora's, I have to wait until... After I, I do a certain challenge before I have them all. Back for getting regular updates or Oh, his last balance patch was in March. Uh, I forgot to change the number of the episode for this recording. I think you can just do it right now and I will change. I'll try it. Oh wait, there's one more. Damn it, get back here. How could I forget that, Roki? I don't know. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I have Goofy here, so he can give me magic. So what am I worried about? At least the timer stops once you beat the last enemy and not like stops like when before doing the like you know like take that no buy it huh Yeah It's generous in that regard at least Come on, buddy. I'm shocked that I don't have any games on my Steam library that I have over a thousand hours in. But I also don't play Final Fantasy XIV through Steam. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, what do you, how do you play it? I have the launcher downloaded. Oh, okay. You, oh, you play it on PC, you don't play it on... Yeah. Man, let me log on to FF and see just how many hours I have in that game. Because I know it's a lot. Mm -hmm. So, do you know which version of- are you picking up both versions of Pokemon, or are you just gonna do just one version? Um, uh, I'll probably just do one. Which one do you think you'll be picking up? Um, I don't know yet. I'll probably flip a coin. 
Oh, okay. Not even just based on the box art legends? Nah. You don't roll like that? You see, I did that for Sword and Shield. For the main fact of... I like swords, swords are for pussies. <laughs> Rookie doesn't like playing defense, he likes it offense. Exactly. I'm not a defensive player. I I think I am more of a defensive player than an offensive player. I play the off. How long are most of your matches? Hey, if um for I've joined two other leagues, and I got for their last um Karak or Gen uh, eight tournaments. I got second place in both of them, so I can't be doing that bad. How long were your matches, though? I don't remember, actually. I wasn't really counting. But when I we were playing in-game and not PS, we did time out. See? <laughs> to be fair, though, sometimes you have to play carefully. It's not how I build my teams. No, I know. I, I built my team so that way, like... I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like my fast, really fast attackers, and I always make sure I have a fast physical and a fast special on my team. But I also don't want to die in one hit and then not be able to play the game. Because I, I, made, see, a, I made a My way of playing the game is... One of us is dying by turn 10. <laughs> I've seen some of your strategies. Okay, calculator. If Smeargle ever gets to make a comeback with the Tom Pass, would you use it again? Yes. In a That's calendar, not calculator. Good job, man. <laughs> uh, 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 times 24 plus 19. 3,307 hours in Final Fantasy XIV. Nice. There's a lot of hours in Final Fantasy XIV. Sounds like a lot of hours. Although I have probably... Over my entire life, I still probably have more hours in Final Fantasy X. Have you ever done all the trophies for Final Fantasy X in the uh, newer versions? Uh, not all of them. There's like one where you have to max the grid on on all characters. Uh, who has time to do that for that game? Now, the only thing that I haven't really done uh, for Final Fantasy X is do all of the super bosses. Because I just don't got time for that. <laughs> Did you ever get all the summons? Yes. Okay. Although that part's easy. I would argue not as easy as you make it sound. I do that every single playthrough, though. Even Anima? Yeah. Anima's easy. As long as you remember to get all the treasures when you're in there. If you have to go back and revisit a temple, you're screwed. I don't... I always get the treasure on my first go! No, I know, but I'm saying, like, for those, for those people who don't know, and forget to get one single treasure, and then you're like, well, I gotta go back and do that, you're screwed if you, fit, you have to go back and do it. No, I always get them on my first go. I want what's in those chests. There's good shit in those chests. Yeah, usually there's pretty good stuff. In there. That's why I don't leave without them. Yeah, that time the counter was counting down. That was annoying. Why would I leave without the good shit? 
um, because you're too lazy to solve the puzzle. Nah, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm just saying for other people in general. Because, like, those puzzles, well, I mean, if you know how to nah, do the only thing that I don't have the patience for is getting all the ultimate weapons. Oh. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, they made, they made 12, like, really hard to, I mean, not 12, 10, really hard to accomplish. 12 was boring as dog crap. 12 just played itself. Yeah, basically, like, legit, he's not lying about that. If you set your stuff up a certain way, you can literally just never pick up the controller to play that game. And I like games where I actually have to do something. <laughs> Or strategize. They boring to me if I can't if I'm not doing anything. But no, ten was always the game that I grew up with. Ten and ten too. Yeah. I admit, I didn't, again, I grew up more with Kingdom Hearts than Final Fantasy. I didn't get into Final Fantasy until my last few years of high school. And the one I played was uh, Final Fantasy IX. Yep. And I fell in love with Final Fantasy IX. And then I saw Ten for Cheap in, uh, what was it, GameStop? And I bought it then. And then I saw 10 2 for cheap, and I'm like, eh, might as well. <laughs> One then, of these days, I'll play Final Fantasy IX. It is a very good Final Fantasy. It's my favorite Final Fantasy. Well, so one of these days, I'll play through every single Final Fantasy. Which one am I still on? There's... Okay, I had never played through one and two. I, I also own every single Final Fantasy, so <laughs> I really don't have an excuse other than playing other games. Yeah, I've never played through one, two, eleven, and sixteen. Spot out yet, but I would need. I'm gonna need a PlayStation Five. Which, PlayStation 5s are like finite right now, unless you know who, <laughs> who to uh, you know who to ask to look for them. Unless you have your personal drug dealer. <laughs> My brother actually, well, not a drug dealer, but <laughs> he has like someone that actually keeps an eye on the market and stuff. I may have to ask him this year. What is he? Your gonna... brother's not your drug dealer. What? His brother's not your drug dealer? I don't even have one of those. And no, he wouldn't be. <laughs> oh, okay, we got... We got a good amount of time to do this. I was worried a bit. I have to beat that first. I'm glad they didn't do it. They didn't do the time trials where you had to solo it, or else this would be a lot harder. Oh, okay. You probably just need to be a much higher level. I mean, I'm on 78 right now. A much higher level. I'm surprised they only programmed Cloud to go into Super Saiyan mode once during the fight. So yeah, I never played- those are the ones I never played through. Only- well, only three is not that bad that I never played through. That could have been a lot more soft. Thunder. 
But I played um, Final Fantasy 3 for the um, 3 and 4 for the Game Boy, uh, for the DS, the DS versions of those. I don't know how many people are. I just never beat four. I've beaten four. I've never beaten three. Three is a pain in the butt on yeah. um on the Nintendo DS, and not and not because of um the DS controls, but the way they they programmed the game for it. Apparently, it's harder than the original version. It's the same with uh, Final Fantasy IV as well, where oh. the uh, 3D version is way more difficult than the original. Yeah, I actually did beat the 3D version of four like, twice. Too bad I have no way to actually, like, rip let's play that, because I don't have a capture card for those types of those games. Meanwhile, I own <coughs> the ability to capture every single Final Fantasy game. Is it because they're all on the PlayStation? No, I have a uh, Game Boy Advance card of Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Oh. I have a uh, splitter that uh, turns uh, that I can plug into my capture card. Like, to do a bunch of wire stuff and I can capture my GameCube. And I have a GBA player. Oh yeah, I have the GBA player for the uh, for the GameCube as well. But again, you can't play uh, DS games on it. Yeah. No, I I, have, I actually have two GBA players. Look at Roki. I have two game I have two GameCubes and two GBA players. I was gonna say, look at Roki being all fancy over here. The main thing that I want to do, though, is I want to have a, I want to get a setup going to where I can play through Pokemon Emerald and Pokemon Fire Red at the same time with one controller. Is that possible? Yes. Wave birds. You use the Wave Bird GameCube controller, and you set. Uh, the two game cubes uh, to have the same channel as the wave bird. That's actually possible. Yep. Oh, hey, AP went up. That's how uh, they do that. That's how most people do it for uh, two games, one controller is the uh, wave birds. Yeah, I didn't know that. Honestly, though, I wonder if I'd be able to do it. Well, it's not like you're also doing it blindfolded. Like, you can see what's going on. Yeah, no, I know, but still. But because they're two very different games, I think that would just be absolutely hilarious doing that. You should record that if you do end up getting to do that. that oh, I plan fun. to. It's just I don't have the time. I hear that. I just found it now, but when I was soloing this, I couldn't find the corner. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Donald. That was actually a very well-timed heal. Let's everybody give a round of applause for Donald for carrying his weight. <laughs> As we feel the heat. Oh, is this the corner? Or did I just have? Oh, I just have to dodge. And as of this recording, it is two weeks until my trip to Disney. Wahoo! So, I am very much looking forward to uh, going. And yeah, we're going to be a little overtime for this episode, but hey, when have I, when have I not gone overtime? Just because, um, I forgot that in between the matches it's gotta stop and go and all that. Stop and go and go and stop? To and fro, stop and go, that's what makes the world go round. For every two there is a fro, for every stop there is a go. I don't even know if anybody would get that reference. The only hint I'll give is that it is a Disney reference. I don't get it. You probably never saw the movie, that's why. And even so, it's very, like, not the movie itself is obscure, the quote itself is very obscure. So I'd be impressed if anybody knew it. I don't even know why I remember. I don't. Still, I was gonna say I I'm still even... just gonna be shocked about you not watching Robin Hood many fights. <laughs> he can't get over it. Nope. <laughs> He's never gonna get over it. Never. Never. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna turn you around. Is it desert you or hurt you first? I don't know. Never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie. Yeah, I can't- something. Now, I know it's either desert you or hurt you. It just depends on what the other ones were. Alright, smack. Well, not you. Smack you two. And then go bye-bye. Almost there. And then, unfortunately, I gotta go face. I gotta go get a revenge match in the next episode. That's the power of the keyblade. Am I ready for the revenge match, though? I don't know. Probably not. If I had to guess. How many more levels can I go up while doing this? Probably not enough. Is what he's answering. Stop attacking before I can. <laughs> I hate that. That it just wastes so much time on. Just wait for the darn thing to just be done with its uh with its required thing. That's the power of the keyblade. I don't know why, I just keep saying thing. I don't want to depress myself, but just... <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm gonna probably depress myself, but it's just like, I feel like I'm gonna get to a point where I'm like, so close to it, and like, miss it by a second. You have time. I know, but... I hate that these en some of these enemies are like, on purpose time wasters.
Like that, like the stupid voiceover. <laughs> Nothing to it. I think there's more, two more to go. And then it, after this one, one more. when the games are purposely wasting my time. Stop being a purposeful waste time. I think like the biggest problem would just be like the flying enemies. Yeah. Just killing your time there. That's what that's what I mean. Like I hate the enemies that are just purposely wasting my time. I have five minutes. I think I can do this in five minutes. Oh, excuse me. Oh yeah. Five minutes and three seconds. Let's not waste time on purpose, Neko. <laughs> in the animation. It almost looks like I got, got stuck in there. Yeah, we're fine. I got my strength up and another tech boost. We definitely fine. Yeah. We're gonna be fine next episode, right? <laughs> right? Save the king! Yep, and that's it. All of Goofy's shields have now been obtained. Let me see if it's any better. Wow, that's even weaker than Mighty Shield? Huh. Well, the magic, though. Yeah, sure. Let's let's stick ourselves out over here. <laughs> all right, let me save. Gotta okay. get ready for all that shit. Mm -hmm. Next episode will be oh, I'm at eighty one, so I should be ready at this point. Will be my rematch with the man in the mysterious cloak. Uh, so tune in next time to the episode. But for now, it's Mirror Card Neko. Welcome, Magician. And we'll see you later. Later. later.